Astronomer's Wife is a short story written by American expatriate Kay Boyle, originally published in 1936 as part of the collection The White Horse of Vienna and Other Stories. The narrative revolves around the protagonist, the wife of an astronomer, and her transformative encounter with a plumber. Boyle was a prominent member of the Lost Generation, a group of American writers living and working in Paris during the early 20th century. She actively participated in avant-garde art scenes in both New York and Paris, authored over 40 books, and contributed to magazines such as The New Yorker and The Nation. In her later years, Boyle became an activist for anti-war movements, civil rights, and feminist causes. The story begins with Mrs. Ames, the astronomer's wife, waking up and calling for coffee. She proceeds to perform her morning exercises after getting out of bed while her husband remains asleep. Although they spend most of their days in close proximity, Mrs. Ames feels a deep sense of loneliness. While she busies herself with chores and errands, her husband often remains silent and idle, lost in his contemplations or gazing through his telescope for hours on end. One day, the plumber arrives at their house to fix a leak that has caused flooding in an upstairs bathroom. Mrs. Ames mentally rehearses her introduction, repeatedly reminding herself that she is Mrs. Ames, while speaking softly to avoid waking her husband. The plumber observes her as a young woman whose inner light has been extinguished by her husband's silence. Despite being a strong and capable man, the plumber respectfully removes his hat when speaking to her. Together, they inspect the flooded bathroom, and the plumber identifies the source of the leak as the soil line outside. He explains that the water seals are not functioning properly and mentions that a valve could have prevented the problem. She reacts with a sense of embarrassment that her husband is not awake to engage in conversation with the plumber. Discussing plumbing matters makes her feel out of her element. The plumber assures her that he will examine the soil line in the garden, bringing Mrs. Ames a sense of relief. However, her husband, referred to as the professor, wakes up in the other room and calls out to her, sarcastically remarking that she has finally encountered a problem worthy of her attention. The plumber notices a noticeable change in Mrs. Ames' expression, as a wave of color crosses her face upon hearing her husband's scornful remark. As they proceed to the garden, the plumber explains the functioning of drains in her neighborhood, but Mrs. Ames is preoccupied with her husband's words. She realizes that she prefers her husband's moments of silence to his condescending comments. In a bitter tone, the plumber sarcastically suggests that Mr. Ames should join him in exploring the human-sized drain system. Mrs. Ames informs him that her husband is still in bed and explains that he would never descend underground, as he prefers to ascend to the stars. The plumber descends into the drain himself and mentions that he believes there is a blockage at the elbow of the system. This simple observation strikes Mrs. Ames profoundly. She realizes that when her husband speaks of the lofty heights of his work, she struggles to visualize or grasp its significance. However, she comprehends the plumber's words with clarity and vividness. She is astonished by the plumber's ability to communicate effectively. Sitting among the weeds, she comes to the realization that there are two types of men in the world, her husband represents the mind, while the plumber embodies the tangible. Some men keep their thoughts in the clouds, while others firmly ground themselves in reality. The plumber emerges from the drain and informs Mrs. Ames that the issue is a backup in the soil lines. Curious and now relishing the pleasure of asking questions that will receive truthful answers, she asks what they should do next. The plumber smiles and reassures her that there is a solution for every problem. He promises to go back down and follow the pipe until he finds and resolves the clog. Mrs. Ames awaits eagerly for his return, appreciating the prospect of receiving genuine answers and solutions. Mrs. Ames urgently calls for her maid, instructing her to inform Mr. Ames, once he wakes up, that she has ventured into the depths of the pipes. With determination, she descends into the earth alongside the plumber, who shares a story about a problem he once faced with his cow. As she takes his arm, a deep sense of knowingness settles within her, acknowledging the truth in his words. In essence, Astronomer's Wife revolves around a woman who has felt lost, gradually finding her rightful place in the world. She had once believed that her husband represented all men, and that the inherent divide between them was natural. However, her conversation with the plumber leads her to a powerful epiphany. She discovers that there are men who share her concerns about the intricacies of everyday life, men who aren't always consumed by silence and contemplation, 
and men who don't scorn her earthly preoccupations. Embracing this realization, she assumes her rightful place alongside the plumber, in the embrace of the earth, where they both belong. This story, along with the collection it was published in, received significant critical acclaim. Critics hailed The White Horse of Vienna and other stories as a masterpiece, showcasing a writer at the pinnacle of her creative abilities. While Astronomer's Wife exhibits similarities to James Joyce's short fiction, renowned for its depictions of epiphanic moments, Boyle's story remains distinctive in its keen observations and originality. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.